So, yeah, my idea was to start in 2018. Rolf, may I interrupt you here? Yeah. Uh, you are the composer of this yes. piece. Yes. Uh, from where did you get your inspiration? Um, the challenge to write for double bass, I must say. Uh, I'm no string player myself, so I um, really had to, to uh, find out the best way to do it. it it's um, um, commissioned from Oslo Philharmonic Orchestra for Don Stiff, who gave the world premiere some years ago. But now when I met uh, Ericsson, um, it was a new challenge because he, he asked me to, to write for the retuned bass. You retuned it one and a half tone higher? Instead of E, A, D, G, it was G, C, F and B minor. Or B, B flat, I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, why, did you, why did you propose that? Well, he wrote the concerto pretty high. And uh, most uh, most of the very high things were not on the fingerboard already. So I thought if we could go a minor third downwards and with the bass minor third upwards, then we could have a much better powerful instrument to project in the hall. And I could have those notes who were not in the fingerboard because they were already very near to reach on the fingerboard and being played has proper notes. Yes. I'm happy. A lot of work, but <laughs> I'm most happy for this. No, but I, I think the result, you could hear it. Yes. I mean, now one could really play each note and not only try to catch the rhythm. Yes. and uh, But um, I used the high register also to be able to to really put the bass in focus not to be covered by the orchestra and orchestration. That's one of my main ideas, because um, I know the problem by it. It's not sounding like a trombone or a trumpet. You must take care of the balance, exactly. dynamic balance and instrumentation. And one of my ideas to do that was not only call and response, in concertino or, or tutti, but also the register. It's so clever and so sensitive. Because I have the feeling I will never get covered. Of course I will. No. <laughs> but I have the feeling I yes, will never yes. get covered. Yes. And also when I think now uh, the chronology of the big concerto for double bass and orchestra uh, of the last century, Kusevitsky, mm. Edward Tubin, yes. Nino Rota, I think this is the next one, Rolf Martinson. So we are doing a little history. But it reminds me so much of film music. I have many pictures, many things coming through my head when I listen to to, to all the, the tutis. Yes. And mm -hmm. as you say, the bass is fighting alone. Yes. But you're carrying the whole orchestra in a way and fighting alone like an orchestra yourself. It's also one of my ideas. Is that part you just played. You're going to, to really affect the orchestra to start... The, the last section in a high tempo and so and that's you you start everything from from that that bar we we, we just practiced. One last question: What what bass is it you're playing on? I um, have the pleasure to play on an Italian instrument made by Carlo Ferdinando Landolfi, and well, it is a treasure because I could I could always demand what I want from him, and from her actually. No, <laughs> it's not a Mm. It's not a guy. It's, mm. it's a very fine old lady. <laughs> Are you happy with the performances? More than happy. <laughs>